Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another From the Depths Sinking Ship video, and this is the sinking, or the destruction of the RMS Oceanic. Uh, so I've already done a tutorial on how to build this thing in Minecraft, and what I've done, as before, converted it over to From the Depths, and we're going to destroy it in any means possible. Um, and hopefully, hopefully this video will last a bit longer compared to the last one, because the game crashed last time, so hopefully things will be a bit better. But uh, have a quick look around the ship anyway. And yes, it's a basic conversion from Minecraft um, of my Oceanic. And the ship looks pretty good, I think, even from the depths. I mean, it's quite a, a low hull ship, and it does sit quite nicely on the water. And yeah, it don't look too bad. So what we're going to do, we've dug out the Mamba again. We're going to use the big gun. And we're just going to knock lots of holes in the ship until it sinks, which is always the, uh, the aim of the game. So we're going to start at the stern uh, this time, and we just go bang like that and knock a hole in the side and hopefully the ship will start down there we go so she's going down stern wise <laughs> and uh, going down rather quickly actually she's much heavier than the last ship we done which was the uh, what one was it the Campania so yeah, she got a lot more uh, girth on this one so she should sink a bit quicker so let's go and have a look and oh yes, the uh, stern is very much down. So, not doing too bad. I don't know where the compartments are in this one, so I'm just going to have to take potluck. So we're going to aim roughly under the second funnel and fire again. And those seagulls are really annoying. Did that do anything? No, oh, it's blown a compartment open, obviously. So now down goes the stern again. And while I'm here, I'm going to tackle that first funnel because that smoke generator is annoying. So I'm going to aim see if I can destroy a funnel uh, destroyed part of it oh, no, the whole funnel or well, most of the funnels collapsed, so I'm going to start from there again and take out the rest of it managed to hit the superstructure instead oh well that uh, didn't go down too well, so let's try again Hopefully that will hit properly. <laughs> and did that do the job? No, it still didn't. Bloody hell. Oh, as it has. Yet the funnel is no longer attached. Okay, so that should collapse now. Any second now. And a couple of bits falling off. And it's not collapsing. Oh, there we go. There's the funnel going. Good, so, right, so we've got the ship nose up in the air. And then we're going to aim a bit further forward this time. I'm going to aim roughly under where the first funnel was. Or should we hit the, hit the fore peak first? Let's hit the fore peak first, get that compartment blown away, because it's not really important at the moment, because the ship is high in the air. <laughs> and, yeah, that will do. And let's just aim further forward now and take out the last compartment. In theory, and that should do it. That's bringing the rest of the ship down. I don't know how many compartments there are, so I've got to have a look inside. So that's that one's the the full peak's not flooded yet because it's not in the water. This compartment is. That compartment is, and that compartment. Okay, so all the all the compartments are flooded, so the ship should start down. Well, it would start down relatively easily, but uh, I think she's just going to go down slowly as she is. That's quite horrific how that is at the moment. Yeah, she's uh, upending even more. See the bridge of the ship. Going down. I think she stopped actually. <laughs> so yeah, it is yeah, it's still going down gradually. I'm not sure how far from the seabed she is. I mean she's quite a long ship and we're in relatively shallow water, so she could be quite uh, near the or close to the bottom, so let's go have a look anyway. And yeah, she's just scraping along this mound on the seabed. <laughs> Yeah, she's right on the uh, right on the cusp of death. 
So the four peak is just the last thing left. So if we take that out, and the ship should settle then. So let's aim roughly there, and that will do, I think. Big blast, and yeah, down she goes. And uh, that will do, it, I think. I mean, she's already on the seabed, stir boys. And uh, yeah, that's the end of the oceanic. It's not a very big ship, as you can tell. Uh, so it didn't take long to go down. Did the real did the real oceanic sink? I can't remember actually. I did read somewhere that I think she was destroyed in a fire actually, and I'm not sure. I know the Campania sank uh, when she was returned, uh, converted into an aircraft carrier. But uh, the real um, the oceanic, I'm not sure if she did sink. But anyway, that's the ship gone completely. We just look above and just see the bow disappearing into the abyss. And the seagulls are really annoying. Piece of debris over there. There's no debris actually. There's one piece of debris. That's it. There's no other wreckage lying around. And uh, it's quite horrific. We've got the Mamba over there. Everyone remembers Mamba. I did destroy it once, but she's come back from the dead. And uh, yeah, just down there. So if I just pop down, so she's going to come to rest around the side of these mounds. Sometimes uh, pieces do break off when the ship hits bottom, but don't think that's going to happen today. I think she's sort of settled softly on the rocks. So yeah, at least the game didn't crash this time, which was a, a bit of annoyance last time. Yeah, that looked too bad. She's on the seabed, sitting over a. a chasm basically. If this is real life the ship probably would have collapsed into that chasm and bent back on itself but as this is from the depths that's not going to happen. So one more thing we can do to make the ship slightly more realistic in terms of wreck looking we can torpedo the thing. So I'll just fly back over to our Mamba and we can launch about a bazillion torpedoes at the thing so if we... I just launched the wrong bloody thing so I'll have to Go to number three slot, and then there we go. Right, these torpedoes are what's they're uh, magnetic or whatever, so they will do damage to a ship on the seabed. So if we find the ship, wherever it is, there it is. So, uh, I'll come back to that in a minute, actually. getting away from it because the lag caused by it is ridiculous. And there are torpedoes taking off into space for some reason. I don't know where those rockets went. I think that's all oh no. No. Right, I think that's all the torpedoes fired, so we'll do some more. I'm gonna make this ship look like a wreck. See debris flying up in the air in the background. <laughs> so loads of torpedoes. Have they all fired? I don't think they all fired. I'm not sure. That's all the torpedoes fired. And we can see debris all over the place. The masts, or a mast, has risen to the surface. You can see one there. There's bits everywhere. Then we go down to the seabed and have another look. See, there's bits flying off everywhere. Uh, right, well, here's the ship. There, you can see she's been shrapneled now. And looks much more wreck like. The mast on the stern is gone. The middle mast is gone. The, the second funnel has been cheesed. And f the first mast is about to break away so we've got plenty of damage done now this looks more like a wreck God. yeah looks even more wreck like than before 
And uh, yeah, bits are breaking off. So there's still plenty more pieces to break off. I mean, the mast over there is no longer attached, but that should break off in a moment. And yeah, another bit going there. And another bit going there. And any more bits? Anyone else? Any, any more takers? Anyone else want to abandon the ship? No. Oh, yep, yeah, there they go. A few more there. Yep, yeah, so. <laughs> So yeah, the ship is uh, pretty knackered now. We knew that from the beginning, and uh, yeah, at least we got the uh, the proper the uh, proper uh, job done, and uh, things didn't go too bad. At least the game didn't crash this time, and uh, got the job done. So that's the Oceanic, sunk and then destroyed, and then destroyed a bit more. And I think we'll call it a day there. It's gonna be a little while before that debris uh, comes to the surface, so I'm gonna leave it as we are. And I'm going to come back with another video soon. I'll probably be the Californian or something like that. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do for the next video. I'm not doing no more Minecraft tutorials for a little while. I'm not brilliantly well, but there we go. Um, so I'm going to call it a day here as the forward mast rises to the surface. And uh, we shall call it a day. So this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return with another video soon as another mast rises. So... <laughs> Bye for now.